If you're new to creating, my biggest advice for you is this. Start and finish a new project every single day. That's it. But hold on, I don't even mean posting. These projects aren't for the world, they're for you. Because these are proof of concepts. If you want to be a successful creator, there are so many things to learn, like a daunting amount. So the best way of really improving your skills is to try something new every day. I know it seems a bit of a cop-out to say that the best method to improve is to practice, but in this video, I'm going to explain why this method is so underappreciated and how specifically it's helped me to become the creator I am. Let's say you're keen on making videos. Well, where do you start? Anywhere. Learning doesn't have to be chronological. You don't have to take baby steps when deciding what to improve on. The only baby steps you should take is in the scale of your projects. Maybe you want to try a new quirky lighting setup, or a new storytelling technique, or a funky editing effect, anything. Pick one, try it out, and move on. It's important to keep that consistent variety, otherwise you'll get too bogged down in the details and start overthinking it all. Remember, no one has to see any of this. You might be thinking that you don't have enough time for this. Being a creator means posting as much as you can, and now you're saying that you should be making extra stuff on top of that? Yeah. But again, this could take you 10 minutes. Today you decide that you're going to finally understand the 180 rule, or light a shot with only one practical light. It's the principle and discipline in forcing yourself to learn something new every single day. Sooner or later, you'll find that you can integrate these daily challenges within your normal content, which is ideal. Because not only does it lift your workload, but it sprinkles something unique into everything you create. So how has this benefited me? Well, two years ago, I was the type of person who'd launch myself into these massively unrealistic projects, knowing deep down that I'd never even come close to finishing them. Trust me, I've got a graveyard of forgotten project files in a never-ending slumber. The result was, I was never fulfilled. I've always been a creative person, and many of you will vouch for this feeling, but that existence where you have the constant yearning to make things, but never the pride and resolution, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Now I can look back on the last 18 months and show you hundreds of test shoots, editing experiments and completed videos. As a writer, an editor, as a creator in general, I've improved more than I could have imagined. For example, around this time last year, this was the extent of my ability when making titles. Before I knew it, I had this, then this, then this. And these were unconscious progressions. I was never trying to make that improvement in one day. But by working on the bigger picture in harmony, it meant all of my skills were growing. By this point, I'd worked on all the surrounding techniques that I didn't even have to research how to make it. I just knew. When you break it down and approach each step on its own, the idea of becoming a better creator is much less daunting. I could not be a bigger advocate for this. If anything, it's a fantastic way of tracking your progress and really seeing what you've become. Thanks for watching this, guys. Please do drop a like and a comment. I'd love to hear if you guys do anything similar. And Marissa, I'm really sorry. I promise I'm not a stalker.